This video explains how to get the end of a month for a certain date in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the vector of dates that we can create with lines two to four of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object is appearing, which is called my dates. And we can print these dates to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line five of the code. And then you can see that we have created a vector containing three different dates. Now, if we want to get the end of the month for each of these dates, then we can apply the functions of the LabriData package, as you can see in the following example, starting in line seven of the code. And as a first step, we need to install and load the LabriData package, as you can see in lines seven and eight. I have installed this package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line eight of the code. And then in the next line of code, we can use the ceiling date and the days functions. So the ceiling date function creates a vector of dates that contains the first day of the next month for each of our dates. And then we can use the days function to subtract one day from each of our dates. And in combination, this line of code creates a vector of dates that contains the end of the month for each of our input dates. And we are storing the output of this in a new data object that we are calling my dates and one. So if you run line 10 of the code, this new data object is appearing at the top right and we can print our new vector of dates by running line 11 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that we have created a new vector of dates which contains the end of the month for each of our input dates. An alternative to the LabriData package is shown in the next example starting in line 13 of the code. And in this example, I'm using the time date package. And in order to install and load this package, we first need to run lines 13 and 14 of the code. I have installed this package already. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 14 of the code. So after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the time date package, such as the time last day in month function. And within this function, we simply need to specify the name of our dates. So in this case, our vector of dates is called my dates. And then we are storing the output of this in a new data object that I'm calling my dates and two. So if you run line 16 of the code, a new data object is appearing at the top right. And we can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 17 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new output, which also contains the end of the month for each of our input dates. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.